let's talk about how to become a Google Certified Educator. So whether you're looking at level one, level two, or both, there's a lot of things you need to know before you get started, and I'm gonna walk you through each step. Now, just in case you missed it, I have also put out a video called 10 Reasons to Become a Google Certified Educator. You may already have plenty of reasons on why you wanna get Google Certified, which has brought you this far, but if you're interested, you can access that video, the blog post, and the infographic at the link below. Now, just a little bit about me. My name is Casey Bell. I'm a digital learning consultant in the Dallas area. I am also a blogger at shakeuplearning.com and I talk a lot about Google certifications and I have four of them myself. Google Certified Educator Level 1, Level 2. I'm also a Google Certified Trainer and a Google Certified Innovator. And I have helped thousands of educators reach their goal of becoming Google Certified. I spend a lot of time trying to keep up with Google and trying to share as much as I can to help teachers. And I do that through my blog. I have tons of free resources on my blog and on my podcast, the Google Teacher Tribe podcast. Now, you can also connect with me through social media. I'm, I'm Shake Up Learning on Twitter and pretty much everywhere else. So if you have questions, please feel free to let me know. If you are brand new to the idea of Google certifications, you're going to want to download my free ebook, The Complete Guide to Google Certifications, because there are four educational certifications and one administrator certification and you can get all of the nitty gritty details of what it takes for each one of those and find the one that fits your goals. Now you can also go to shakeup.link forward slash Google cert to access all of my certification resources. And so there's a guide there to help you figure out what it is that you're looking for. But I have lots of free downloads and, and tons of tips and tricks to help you. So let's break this down. Let's talk about how to become a Google Certified Educator. Whether you're talking about level one or level two, I'm gonna address both of those right here today. Level one is for beginners to intermediate. Now, you know, this could be, I'm just barely able to log in all the way to, I'm, I'm feeling pretty good about my skill set. Now, level two is definitely more of the intermediate to advanced level. So it's going to take it up a notch. Now, to prepare for the exams, the level one exam or the level two exam, you have a few different options. You could work through the self-paced Google Educator course content, or you could work with a Google certified trainer or partner to learn the content in a face-to-face -face training. Or you could take one of my academies online. And so there, there is the online training center that Google offers that you can do completely on your own if you want to. If you want to pay and attend face-to-face -face because that's what you like, you can do that as well. Or you can take my online course for whichever level it is that you're interested in. So let's talk a little bit about what's actually on the exam. <laughs> So on level one, you're going to see general questions about G Suite for Education, the G Suite Learning Center, Google Chrome, Google Search, the Google Help Forums, the Google EDU Directory, Docs, Slides, Forms, Sheets, Drive, Google Classroom, Google Keep, Gmail, Calendar, Hangouts, New Google Sites, Google Groups, YouTube, Google Plus, Digital Citizenship, and Digital Literacy. And of course, the overarching guide here, just in general, digital learning and technology integration strategies are all part of what's included on level one. So I went through all of the course content, all of the training center content, and everything that I've learned from taking the level one exam, and I created the level one capacity matrix. So this is just a quick screenshot of one page. It is several pages long and it's a free download that you can get on my website, shakeup.link forward slash matrix one and see where you are and give yourself, you know, some, some self assessment here to find out what it is you already know and where you may have some gaps before you take this exam. 
And you can see those are links. So inside the capacity matrix, I'm not only giving you the skill, but I'm giving you a link to learn it if you don't already know it. Level two. So we're going to kick things up a notch in level two. Even though you see some of the same applications, what you have to know how to do on those applications is greatly different from level one. So this is definitely at the advanced level, but you will see Google Chrome, Google Search, Google Scholar, Doc Slides Forms, Drive, Google Classroom, Google Sheets, Gmail Calendar, the new Google Sites, YouTube, Google Plus, Hangouts, Blogger, Google Drawings, Google Groups, My Maps, Google Earth, Google Arts and Culture, Google Expeditions, Google Translate, and Advanced Digital Learning and Technology Integration Skills. So they definitely reach level two into the realm of hitting those lesser known tools. So you see a lot of a little, little mentions of some lesser known tools, but go way deeper into some of the core suite. So for instance, Google Sheets, in my opinion, is the one that really could, could hold you back from reaching level two. Uh, you will see there are a lot of skills covered in Google Sheets. And so just like I did for level one, I created a level two matrix and you can download that one as well and see exactly what skill sets it's going to take for each application and see if you're ready for level two. Now, the other thing I wanna mention is the exam itself can be very confusing and in fact can mess, mess you up if you don't know what to expect. And so I created a free download with tips on how to pass these exams. And these tips are all about the testing system itself, good strategies to help you pass the exam, and you know just the things that I've learned along the way. So it's something that, that can definitely help you if you have never taken one of these exams before. So let's talk about the exams because that may be your next question. All you have to do to become a level one is pass the level one exam with an 80% or above. To become a level two, you pass the level two exam with an 80% or above. So here's the deal. <laughs> the level one exam includes multiple choice questions, drag and drop, and performance-based scenarios. Those performance-based scenarios mean you are working inside a G Suite for Education domain with a special account they give you just for the test and you have to do things. It is a hands-on test. It is not simply being able to answer questions. You have to do things, create things, share things. The exam is also timed. It's 180 minutes and it has a $10 fee. Also want to warn you that after you register, your exam could take up to 24 hours to be ready. So a lot of people think they go register and can start the exam immediately. You cannot. Um, it can take up to 24 hours before you have access to the exam. Level two, on a similar level, 80% uh, or above, multiple choice questions, drag and drop, those performance-based scenarios. It is also timed. 180 minutes and this one is $25 and again you may have to wait up to 24 hours to get access to that exam. So here's some advice. Use your resources. During the exam it is completely okay to look up answers that you're unsure about because guess what? Google thinks that's a 21st century skill, right? Now the um, you're going to open other tabs you're going to be able to do things so open the google support center support.google.com is your best friend when you're unsure of an answer use the google help and product forums use the training center use the resources that i've created this is a real world scenario google doesn't think that um, you should have to like cut off all access to the rest of the world but you have to remember this is a timed exam so if you think you're going to go in there and Google all the answers, you're never going to finish. It's, it's just frankly not possible. So um, that is just your backup plan when you don't know the answer. The other thing I want to tell you is you need to watch the clock. The number one reason that most do not pass is because they ran out of time. I hear it every single day. Oh, I missed by two points because I ran out of time. Oh, I, you know, what's, what's the trick to... 
you have to know your stuff. You have to be prepared. There is no magic trick to this. Um, it's, it's a very good exam at evaluating what you were able to do. So let's, let's do a little comparison here between what's available in the Google Training Center versus what I offer in my Google Certified Educator Academies. So please know that I am not at all knocking the Google Training Center. In fact, I wrote some of the content that is in that Training Center. So I just want you to understand what's available because what works for one doesn't work for everyone. So in the Google Training Center, you're going to see content that is mostly text-based with a few videos and lesson checks. Okay, those videos are usually two minutes or less and they are generally just a teacher talking about best practices. They are not hands-on videos to show you how to do things. The content is organized by a broad topic and not by application, which is great if you already know the applications, but if you get a question that's combining Google Scholar with Google Docs and you've never used Scholar, well, you're not quite ready for that lesson. So it is for those who are prepared to do it on their own. And you know, there are tons of teachers who have done that. And that's great if you are ready and you can tackle that all by yourself. My academies are a little bit different. So the content is video based and depending on which course you take, you can have up to over 11 hours of hands-on instruction and teaching from me. So I'm gonna show you the application and how to do it and that's how it's organized, by application or concept because I truly think it is difficult to teach things in unison unless you already know how they work. So I have broken it down by application. This is for those of you who are looking for more guidance. You want the, the hand-holding, you want someone to, to help you each step of the way, and it also includes an exclusive Google Plus community for each academy. So you have a group of educators who are in the same boat as you and going through the same training and taking the same exam so you can help each other as well as having me at your fingertips. Okay, so if you are ready for more, stay tuned. There is another video coming. So um, this is video two in a series. Stay tuned for video three where I will tell you even more about the courses so that you know if this is the right choice for you. I will give you more information so that you are ready because these courses only open in May and November for a limited time. They're not open year round, so you have to pay attention so that you can get enrolled in time. And of course, you can visit googlecertifiededucator.com for more information and more resources.